my great show, and I, I need some here to say thank you very much for that for tonight. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot. I'm happy you enjoyed it. Thanks for having me always. Was good the show tonight? Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. All that's reactive. Always great. Okay, yeah. nice. So I let you to your audience, and if you have any questions, please feel free. Greetings. Congratulations for the show. It was great. It's amazing. Why it to be is a ganja mine? Why marijuana should be legal? Well, as we would say, in I and I feel the healing of the nation. But in the government view, 90% of the country who legalize marijuana, they legalize it because they're economically weak. And marijuana build up their economy. Just like that. In California, they were in debt. The state was couldn't pay the federal budget. Marijuana legalized within six months. They children here never see. So we now looking at this not in the way we want it to. Now in Jamaica, it's in a debate in Parliament to legalize marijuana. It's not going to benefit the poor farmers in the country. It's not going to benefit the Rasta community because we want to smoke free for Sacramento. They are talking about regulating legalization of marijuana to the same people who own the, the bank, who own the real estate, who own the pharmacy. So it's just another cash, cash crop for the billionaires. It's not, it's not at the level that we want it. So it's not, as we would say, it's not for the benefit of the people, but it's another weapon. Because let me explain to you, in Colorado, yeah, it's legal. But now it is also considered a class A substance. So now the police can stop you, test you. If you smoke too much, you get a ticket. So now if your eyes are too red, it's like controls, it's like alcohol. So if you smoke too swift, they can arrest you same way. So if though it's legalized, there is so much class, you can't travel with it because it is not legal to, to what do they say, export or travel so Or you're going to get it from the farm to your city. You understand? So it's tricky. It's another weapon against us. That's us. Anthony, you know yourself a uh, real revolutionary. What does it mean to be a revolutionary nowadays? It means to stand up and for truth, rights, and see what it is. If they say you can't fly them, even if they say you can't sing them, that's the truth. The truth set you free. If, that's, if tonight is the end, it's the end. If it's next year, it's next year. That's what the revolution is about. It's not about weapons, guns, bombs, cars. No violent revolution has bring a solution to mankind. When the, if after the war is over, we still have to have a debate like this to re, rebuild the country. Uh, Create destiny and create, understand? So, our revolution is freedom of thinking. You understand? When Italian, in the Italian Renaissance, people were suppressed for hundreds of years. The one, 20 years they get to think, plane come, ship come, train come. So, when people are raped, there is so much things happening now that we need solution for. But if, you, if everyone thinks, one way, then there will be no solution. So we need our kids to at least have the opportunity to not be centralized, to think that, okay, if he don't drink this water, he's gonna die. Leave him free to decide if he want the water. So that, that's what we call the revolution, we stop. Like Martin Luther, Martin Luther created a revolution that me and you could read a, a book today and got an insight of something about God. You understand? So this, this, this is what we call revolution. Bob Marley is a revolution. Bob Marley changed the hope of ghetto people in Jamaica. So that's a revolution. The world. That's what we call revolution. Mr. Hatton, you have Yes. I'm from Kenya, 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 I
that's correct. I'd like to know one thing. What part, what side of I2B does the public never see? Well, as we say, the public see everything about, I guess, you know, those little sides when you're in your own, relaxing, the public never see you. You understand? And I'm always reading and watching history and because information is the key in all things. Information is the key. 90% of the time, when you see old soldiers going to war, if they got information about the person that they're going to drop a bomb on, they, they, there would be no wars. Lack of information create ignorance and lead to problems. So inform ourselves. The freedom of information change everything. What do you think about the evolution of dancehall in the last years? Well, dancehall is always being dancehall. And the only thing changing dancehall is the beat. Because if I would tell you that when I was growing up, I could listen to dancehall. My mother would not let me listen to dancehall. Yes, I could play reggae, but not dancehall. So is that nothing changed? It's the same thing that I don't want my kids to sing the dancer. And the dancing styles? Well, I guess what we look at dance is like underground. You understand? It's like you can live in the ghetto, but you don't involve. You understand? Because you have the ghetto life and you have the underground life in the ghetto. You can find them in. When, like me growing up in the ghetto, I don't, know, I, I don't get any problems. Because I choose that how I want to see. I want to be an artist. If I see you fighting over here, I'm not coming. So when fight happens, they say, oh, if it is artists, they don't. So it's true life, it's the same thing. So dance are always embrace. Because dance are in the seventies, like Josie Will time. You never used to see those artists. They used to stand up in the dark. And you can't shine no light around here. But there's a DJ and it's a bad man thing. See if you can you understand? So dance is always been the other side. So dance reggae is always been the other that's why reggae is the collective feet that drive the force of Jamaica. Dance all will change. Only thing change about dance all is the beat. But dance all has always been a little edgy. And that's why it's dance all. Yeah. Thank you very much. Your energy is amazing. Thanks. What gives you energy and who inspires you? Well, I try to love myself, eat right, think right, sleep right. That's it. That's, That's it. your advice. That's Thank you. Last question. Anthony, your last album is entitled Tribute to the Legends. I was wondering what was the key that you choose the songs and they choose the artist that you want to cover the songs on the album? Well, I choose artists to me, as I say, who is not just an artist, but they are, they are a revolution. John Lennon was a revolution. John Lennon was a superstar. He could be out there doing a lot of different things, but he put his career on the line to mean something. Bob Marley was a revolution. People who, not, who, who, who could do different things, can they make that money and they, they achieve that kind of life? Because what I look at is choices. It's not because you're forced to do it, but you've got the choice. You've got the choice to do good or bad, and you got the money to be, but you choose to do something positive. Gyalbi is a revolution, but Gyalbi will sing a song. You understand? So, this is how I choose people as legendary. Gyalbi make a mark that change India forever. You understand? And he never take up a gun. So this is what we're trying to, because the problem we're having right now, if you watch the TV and the news, what's happening? The biggest problem is a lot of these kids are being lied to. So they come to repeat the same mistake that has been made 10 years ago. Can no one tell them that 10 years ago, this is what happened? So you, you let them feel like, oh, everything is OK. So, no, they, 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 they're repeating the same thing that the two generations ago was, was a problem. Because what we teach 
them about it. We don't teach them about their history. How much of us really sit down and teach our kids that? Oh, you know, 10 years ago, they were dropping bombs here. 20 years ago, you put go outside. They don't know this. So they, they, they're going to repeat the same mistake. What we teach them, oh, this is, this is a little, uh, this is that. So we can't forget that. So that's why we try to, because you would see a sign to maybe someone young like this. And they think, my daughter come to me and say, oh, girl, this one I have fun. She tell me it's a new song. That some of the, what they call this new world, those Disney singers, sing over my kind of tell you, no, it's an old song. I have to go play the old song for her. You understand? So, generations sometimes, if they don't know, they're going to do the same thing, the same thing. So, that's why I choose to do the album, choose to 